This is your moment. Your moment to move forward and make progress. It's time to see where an education can take you. For over 130 years, Strayer University has been at the forefront of change, offering programs that help students like you get ahead and stay ahead, so you can keep striving. Visit Strayer.edu to learn more. Strayer University is certified to operate in Virginia by CHEF. It's Good Friday, March 29th, 2024, and this is the Washington Times front page. Thanks for joining us. I'm George Gerbo. Salvage crews have begun the work of cleaning the Francis Scott Key Bridge wreck site in Baltimore. Matt Delaney reports officials said the largest crane on the eastern seaboard would arrive late Thursday to the Patapsco River to remove metal and concrete from the shipping channel. Another crane is expected to be delivered Saturday. The bridge collapsed within seconds after the cargo ship Dolly lost power and struck one of its support columns early Tuesday. As a result, the busy port of Baltimore has been shut down, putting thousands temporarily out of work and leaving incoming shipments in limbo. The Environmental Protection Agency is finalizing a stringent industry-wide admissions proposal to limit the release of likely cancer-causing toxins, but also preparing for a legal battle over the regulations. Ramsey Touchberry reports the rules will affect more than 200 plants that manufacture synthetic chemicals and materials such as resins and polymers used in everyday items such as yoga mats, water hoses, and car tires. Critics say the new emissions limits are politically motivated based on outdated data and will do more to crush businesses than safeguard public health. The EPA in a statement said that it sent the final rules to the White House for review and expects to issue the final regulations soon. House lawmakers have asked President Biden to testify at a public hearing about his alleged involvement in his family's business deals. Susan Fariccio reports House Oversight Committee Chairman James Comer sent the invite to the president, along with testimony and records that he says connects the president's actions with profits secured by family members and associates from foreign countries. Sitting presidents rarely testify before Congress. The last was President Ford, who appeared before a House Judiciary Subcommittee in 1974 to explain his pardon of former President Nixon. Biden is expected to decline the request. The Center for Immigration Studies says the U.S. now has 13.7 million illegal immigrants and 51.4 million immigrants overall, an increase of 6.4 million during the Biden administration. Stephen Dynan reports that averages 172,000 new immigrants each month were roughly four times the rate in the Trump administration and nearly three times the rate in the Obama administration. Most of the new arrivals are from Latin America, and 3.7 million have arrived illegally. The U.S. now has by far the largest ratio of immigrants in its population in its history, 15.5%, up nearly two percentage points since 2020. And finally, Andrew Salmon takes a look at a documentary detailing the struggles of defectors trying to escape from North to South Korea. Find all today's front page stories at WashingtonTimes.com slash front page or on the Washington Times app and find us wherever you get your podcasts. You can also find us on social media at Wash Times for breaking news, sports, commentary, and more. For the Washington Times, I'm George Gerbo, wishing you and yours a safe and blessed Easter.